had the political parties we know today, there were the Federalists and Democratic Republicans. The Democratic Republicans were led by Thomas Jefferson, who believed in the common man. These were generally farmers, artisans, and wealthy planters who worked hard to make a living, then lived mostly in the South. Democratic Republicans wanted a strong state government to give voice to the local people. They opposed the national banks due to the overtaxing they felt mimicked British rule. They wanted the government to be run by the common man that understood the everyday needs of the people and wanted all rights and freedoms of individuals in writing to make sure they were protected. Alexander Hamilton led the Federalist Party, made up of mostly wealthy, educated businessmen, merchants, and lawyers. Federalists wanted a strong central government to unify the nation, favored a national bank to raise revenue, collect taxes, and help the economy. They believed the government should be run by those who understood economics and were well-educated. They also opposed protecting individual laws to focus on federal needs. It did not take long for Americans to choose sides and be divided over political opinions. The party struggled to find compromise over economics, interpreting the Constitution, and which foreign nations to ally with, mostly between Great Britain and France. Their next challenge would be to choose who would become the second president of the United States. Created using Powtoon.